Ayan ko yung Albert So we are just like I've told you on the edge, the border of Krakow. By the way, how does the, that's how the name of the city is pronounced in Polish, Krakow. And like I've told you, it used to be the largest city in this country for some time, the capital city of Poland, which in the on the other side of the city. I mean, we'll go there. Then we know that in uh, 965, 1,000 years ago, Just to tell you the name of the museum because I know that in Polish might be difficult. But it's worth going there to see that. Yes. But it's open. Who's surviving from the And also many other sorts. But what are those there? There are still bagels, but those of Vajanki were braided. So there were bagels that were more everyday, and then there were bagels that were very fancy for important occasions, which were braided. So those Right. 
beautiful cities, but Krakow has a lot of legends, and the legends of Krakow are usually quite creative. You can probably say that people didn't like history back then so much, they just preferred legends. So I don't know if you know what is the most important myth like, mythical creature, animal of the city. By the way, you can drink tap water here in Krakow without a problem. I've been doing that for more than 20 years. <laughs> uh, Krakow is famous for the old medieval sound that used to be the sound of opening the gates. I mean, it was a whole tradition, a whole you know, process of doing that. Usually, 700 years ago, there would be a trumpet here. Somewhere in the city, of course, later on, the towers were extended in the six, uh, 600. During the, let's say, 15 years that he created art, he was the best in everything. So Vespiansky was an architect. Vespiansky was also most famous as a theater director and playwright. Completed the early room. Where you're staying, went there, went there, right here, where we are right now. We'll see the castle, and by the way, the Jewish quarter that I told you about, Kazimierz, it's all of this neighborhood here. It used to be a separate city for 500 years, officially different city next to Krakow. So that's the Jewish quarter, that's the old town, that's the castle here. Just left side above that, lady in white t-shirt's head. 
Can we see that bow? Yeah. Everybody? So that's one, one of those big bounce bows. Albert. This is our fifth day right now um, in our Europe trip right now. Today we're going to be going to the Walsh Salt Mine. Um, we went to the old square, I'm pretty sure it's named. Now the Walsh Salt Mine better go in. See you there. Alright, 
Town. The big sofa is anyone needs a break, there is a bunch at the bike in town. The most important, remember, we're one group today, and our new guide. So, four me all the time, don't try to get lost in mind. I'm the only one who knows the way out from here, so you actually do. Yeah. <laughs> Questions? Uh, Not yet, let's try then this way. Wow. 